Okay, so now that we've sort of got our constructions down, what we're going to do is we are going to work on the loads portion. So let's go ahead and go to the loads tab here. And what we want to do first is look at the people. And again, we have a bunch of people here, um, but we want to purge. And you can see that we have the closed office and the restroom. And the other thing to notice is that if you're not sure you know, which of these definitions were where, we can go to our space types, and then we can go to loads. And now you can see that the closed office portions, so these are our offices, have the CZ48 people and CZ48 lights and the electrical equipment. And then the, electrical, and the mechanical room has no people. And the restrooms, again, have the restroom definitions. So our definitions are, are correct. And now we just need to define the loads explicitly. So let's go ahead to the people definition. So in the office, we could put in people per space floor area. But since we know that in each office there's four people, we're just going to put four. And the nice part about it is that OpenStudio um, does the rest. So we don't need to put in the spe specifics about what um, the people were doing or whatnot. For the restroom, there's a people per space floor area, and we're just going to keep that as the same. Um, you know, people might be in the restrooms at some portions. Okay, so let's go on to lights. So again, we want to purge. And so now we have four different lights. And the information we're given is that um, it's three watts per square foot. So we're going to get rid of this, go to three. We're going to do that in all the spaces. Okay. Then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to do electric equipment. And again, we're going to purge. So for the offices, um, they're actually you need to do a little calculation for this. And let me show you. So for the offices, there's a coffee brewer, there's two computers, and there's two printers. So um, if you look this up, the, this is the sensible heat gain and um, the latent heat gain. Now, the sensible heat gain for the um, printers was basically using the assumption that in standby, it's 580 BTUs per hour, and um, printing, it's 3,000 BTUs per hour. So um, we're just going to assume a 50% run time, so you take an average. Um, so once you add these two together, you get a total equipment load of 6,540 BTUs per hour. However, Energy Plus and OpenStudio like it in um, watts. So we convert to watts by using this unit conversion formula. And there's the total watts um, of heating load um, from the equipment. Now, um, OpenStudio um, also wants the, fra the latent fraction, or the fraction of latent, which is this fraction right here. So let's go ahead back to OpenStudio. And we're going to put in those numbers. So the um, we're going to put in the design level watts of 1916, and then the fraction latent of 0 0.05. 0 0.0535. And let me just double check. 0.0535. Perfect. Okay, so the electrical mechanical room, we're going to just keep this as it is. Uh, we're not going to mess with that. Um, same thing with the restroom. Okay, so um, now that we have that done, the next thing we're, we're going to do is schedules, and we'll cover that on the next video.